The Miami Heat defeated the Detroit Pistons tonight in Michigan. The final score of the game was 106-92 to for the Heat. This game was closed after one quarter, with Miami leading 25-21. to In the second period, however, the Heat took control of the contest. They outscored Detroit 39-22 to in the period and led by 21 points at halftime. Miami basically coasted in the second half, and the only real drama for the Heat was whether or not LeBron James would end up with a triple-double on the stat sheet. One of the best signs of the night for Miami was the continued strong play of its bench, particularly swingman Mike Miller and guard Eddie House. The two reserves combined for 24 points and hit 5 of 9 attempts from behind the three-point arc. LeBron James finished with 16 points, 8 rebounds, and 10 assists. He just missed his 32nd career triple-double and possibly could have achieved it had he not sat out the final few minutes of this blowout game. Dwayne Wade added 24 points, 8 boards, and 7 assists, and nearly had his own triple-double in the victory. Forward Austin Day led the Pistons with 18 points, 2 rebounds, and 3 assists. Guard Ben Gordon chipped in with 16 points, 7 rebounds, and 2 assists in the loss. With the victory, Miami takes over the best record in the NBA's Eastern Conference. They are now a half game ahead of the Boston Celtics and hold a 39-14 and mark over their first 53 games. They have 29 games left in the regular season. Miami will play the Boston Celtics this Sunday. Reporting for Conservative New Media, this is Paul F. Villarreal.